In this video, we're going to talk about reading value from Java properties file from Spring Boot's value injection. So this is one of the most commonly used thing that we always try to do in automation testing, like reading values from a properties file to understand what browser that we'll be working with, what is the application's URL, what is the environment that the application is running, like staging or testing or development or production or pre-prod like that. And also we try to read a different types of value like database connectivity strings or many different things. Like that's how we used to read data from properties file. And it's very, very easy even in Java, like even without having Spring Boot to do that. But in Spring Boot, there is even more neat way of doing it to read the values from different files of the properties file using this value injections. So in order to read value from the Java property files, we use the at value annotation to perform the value injections. And as you can see, the code is going to look super easier as well. The first thing is going to look something like this. As you can see, there is a at value of dollar braces and then app dot URL brace close. That's it. And then there's a string app URL. So what is this thing doing? So basically, this guy is actually telling that, hey, go and read the property file, which has got app.url in it. So it is going to read the property file, like the default application.properties file, and then it is going to read the value out from it. That's what it's going to be doing, basically. And if you want to read a list of browsers, you can do something like this. So you can just put comma separated value and you can also read the list of all the browsers which is uh, being passed on either a application.properties file or even directly on the values as you can see over here. Or you can even simplify the reading of the data like environment variable, something like this, like it's a testing environment. So just put the add value of testing and you will get the value as testing if you call environment. So that easy it is while you work with the value injections in Spring Boot. So we'll quickly see how this actually works. And it's, it is super easy and super simple in Spring Boot as it names. So we are back to our code that we have been discussing all these days. And what we're going to do is to work with the value injection. We're going to put something like an at. There is a value annotation. And over here, uh, let's say I want to pass the environment as probably testing and I'm going to make this as private string and this environment we are going to be reading over here. So I'm just going to do a sys out of uh, let's say environment. That's it. So let's see what is the value that is going to be printed if I try calling this guy. So if I just try to run this, you can see that the value is going to be testing which is going to be coming if i tried reading this environment variable so basically it is decorated with the at value so the value being injected to this particular variable and that's what is printing over here and that's exactly what we can do is we can move this guy to the resources application dot properties file this one which is kind of empty at the moment so let's say if i want to uh, mention something like app dot uh, url is equal to http colon ea app dot sami dot com. This is the website that we'll be automating in our next section. So if I just go over here, if I just put app dot url, then it is not going to basically work. So if I just put app dot url like that, it is like plain url. It's like a string, like what it was before, like testing. That's how it is considered. Uh, in the Spring Boot, if you just put it in the double quotes, because it's a, just a string, you need to make it interpolate the string interpolation. That's what it has to happen. So you need to put a, a braces over there and also try putting a dollar there so that it can be recognized. So it's a dollar uh, braces open and braces closed. So the string pollution interpolation is going to happen. And now if it runs, you will see that it is going to bring the environment probably as the URL over here. So basically, it's not a URL. We can just call this as an app URL. It's not environment though, something like that. Yeah, so this is how we can do a value injection with the value being read from the application.properties file. 
And we can go even further as I was talking about like reading the values from a list of values. So for example, uh, I can just put like a value over here and then I can put like browsers as Chrome, uh, Firefox, Edge, like that. And I can just put private uh, and because this is a list of string, I need to put list of strings over here and then I'm gonna call this as browsers like that. So if I do this way, uh, it is gonna read all the value but then it's gonna convert automatically to this type, the list of string type, and then it's gonna work for you. Basically, if you don't provide list of string, if you just put string, then it is just gonna consider that as, all right, this is just a string. But if you put a list of string and it is a command separated value, then Spring Boot knows that, okay, you're trying to do like a reading of value in a comma separated value and you're gonna convert, you want me to convert it to a list of string. That's what it's gonna be doing over here. So in order to print all the browsers value, uh, we can probably do something like a browsers dot for each, uh, where you can do the method reference options of uh, Java 8. So you can do something like system out over here, put double colon and print ln. So this is the uh, method reference way of working with uh, reading the values uh, in Java. And now let's try to, oops, I hit the debug there. There you go. And you can see that it has actually printed Chrome, Firefox and Edge for us from this particular line. So this is the way that you can actually print the value from the list of all the browsers using the method reference in Java. Yeah, so this is the way that you can actually work with the value injections of Spring Boot. In our next video, we'll see how we can actually work with different property files. Like this is currently just one application or properties file. So let's say if I want to work with like multiple properties file in order to work with different environments, uh, let's say QA and dev, staging and production pre-prod like that so we used to create a uh, different uh, different properties file and based on the property file we wanted them to be read as well and print the url based on that because currently let's say this is a production grade uh, url and if there is a test grade url you, you'll just have something like a test.eaapp.swami.com i mean there is no such thing exist but you can do that as well so you can do all sort of thing in the application or properties if you have a different properties file altogether which we'll be discussing in our next lecture.